Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Under Rail. Picking up here where we last left off. We're back in the tunnels and in between episodes I did go back to South Rail Station. Picked ourselves up several more health hypos because we need to find this Keith character who's uh, apparently somewhere, uh, I guess either in this uh, room or in this room. So, each room does have Psy Beetles in them. Uh, we have started to uh, take on the one down here. So, we've got our gun equipped, our 44 Hammerer. It's fully loaded with eight rounds. Now, all we have are just the uh, regular ammunition for this. Uh, let's see here, the standard rounds. So, we've got, uh, is it just the six left? I guess so. We may have to go back and buy some more. But uh, it did do quite a bit of damage. About 30 or so. Each side build has 100 health. We should have enough as long as we don't miss any shots to kill uh, the two side beetles we've encountered so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump back over here. We do have our health hypo down on the hotbar uh, to use because I know we will need to use that. They do quite a bit of damage to us, these side beetles. But let's see what we can do here. Oh my god, critical hit. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's not really what I want. Alright, so we're going to use our health hypo right away. That's the first first critical hit we've had from them. Um, let's move towards them. Increase our chance of getting landing a strike we could also try to use a throwing net uh, we used these for the hoppers in the last episode but it does say that we can uh, use the net to target and attempt to immobilize uh, something for up to three turns this takes 10 AP and has a cooldown uh, of three turns our shot takes what is it 25 What's the AP on this one? I can't remember. Uh, attack. What, what is the AP requirement for this? Oh, 32. So we don't quite have enough to do this and a net. Um, we could attempt the net first. I mean, worst case scenario, we just uh, reload. Let's give this a shot. Let's see if we can entangle this Psy Beetle. Entangled. Okay. Now, while it's entangled, I don't know. Maybe it'll still be able to use its power. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and uh, move up to it. We'll just use our crossbow, I guess, since we don't have enough uh, AP to use our pistol at the moment. So we'll deal some damage there. Let's move a bit closer. And we'll end turn. Let's switch back to our pistol here. No, it can still use its uh, overload. But if we get even closer, I think they said if we're like right up on it, it won't be able to do anything. So uh, we're, we're gonna see here. Let's take a shot. Uh, only 14 damage. Let's switch back out to our, I don't know, we don't have enough for this either. So how do I switch to just our fists? Can I unequip one of these? I have to unequip one. But that will take AP as well, right? No, no, we, we can uh, just attack him here. Oh my god. <laughs> One. Okay. Well, let's see if he can attack us when we're right up against him. If we die, we die, we reload. Uh, okay, so he can attack us uh, melee. Our health hypo is on a 10 turn cooldown. Oh boy. Oh, that's not going to be good. Okay, so let's fall back here. 
Um, not enough action points. Okay, so we're definitely gonna die here. That's fine. Uh, we've learned some things. We will continue. Well, actually, I could leave here and heal up. I have a feeling we're gonna be reloading though. So let's wait for our cooldown on our health hypo. Uh, we are going to re-equip our crossbow because hand-to-hand -hand combat is not uh, recommended for the side beetle. We're down to six health, so we still got 20 seconds on this. Cut back once that's done. Okay, let's use one of our health hypos and. Uh, we're 30, let's, hmm, I wonder if I should just use another one, or just go in like this, try and get a shot off. Oh, I should've gone in with stealth. Okay. That's my bad. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot him, and then we're gonna reload here. Oh, we're so close, actually. To finishing him off. Uh, not enough action points. Not have action points. Okay. So anyway, I think we're gonna die here. That's fine. We'll just resume last save. We found out a few things. Oh, that uh, just reloads us from right here. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Hold on, let me uh, reload uh, from our previous save. Okay, here we go. So, let's go in with stealth activated. We'll go stealth mode. We'll try and get first shot on this guy. Oh, we bumped into him. Okay. Uh, it's on a cooldown. Let's wait for that to finish. Reactivate stealth, that's good to know. And if we bump into someone, it's no good for us. Oh, he saw us, I guess. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and, yeah, we could go ahead and use a hypo here. Uh, does that use any AP? It does use 10. No, let's go for a shot. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll go for a shot. 21. Okay, let's... Try him back out of here, but we may not be able to. Okay, let's try going in on the edge, maybe. Let's try entering over here. We'll go stealth. We'll enter here. I don't know if that's going to change anything. Nope, we still enter in the middle. Hmm. This isn't looking very good, guys. So if I use my health hypo here, I still have enough for a shot. So let's do that. Knocked him down to 53, or I guess they're 110 health. Uh, let's fall back so we can leave the next turn and then reheal. So I can't really stay here for two rounds. Um, if I use this, can I get a shot off and then still leave? Probably not. That's on a cooldown for 11 turns. Okay, let's just back off here. We'll figure out some way to do this. I'm gonna have to wait for my cooldown, so we'll come back in a second. And two seconds left. Okay, let's heal up. And I'm gonna keep trying to use stealth. Maybe there'll be one time where he doesn't see us right away. 
No, nope. still saw us. Okay. Let's get another shot in here. Down to 34. Or down 34. He's got 19 left. Let's do the same thing. We'll bounce out of here. Hopefully without dying. Nope, we died. Okay, we came close. We came close. Can I do our burst? Action points 50. No, we don't have enough for that. Ah. Uh, this is tough. Oh, I think I should have waited for our cooldown on our hypo before we came back in here. Um, okay, let's... Yeah, we can't leave. And we're most likely going to get killed again here, so I'm going to reload. Give this one more shot. So he takes his shots. We heal up. We take our shot. We miss, of course, this time. Let's end turn. Do our healing, and uh, I'm going to go through this process. Uh, we'll come back uh, once we have killed him, because uh, I don't want you guys just to sit watching the same thing all over and over and over again. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, hopefully this is it. We are down to our last health hypo. And yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. Our enemy is down to 31 health. Oh my god. <laughs> we got it. Okay, there's no body there. Uh, but thank god. Um, we killed it. So hopefully there's not any more Psy Beetles in this room. I literally used up eight health hypos and a bandage uh, to kill that thing. If there's another one here, I don't think I have enough. Maybe I have enough money to go get some more health hypos, but I don't have that much more money. And there is another one up there. There's three up there. Jesus. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Can we get across here? Can I pick this mushroom, at the very least? Can I get something out of this? Oh god, don't see me. I should probably go into stealth mode here. I don't know what that sound is. I doubt we can sneak past the thing. Three of them at that. Um, we should probably save here, though. Um, let's go and save in a new slot. We're going to call this, let's play, uh, let's play under rail. Uh, we'll call this cave or mushroom cave. Uh, mushroom cave cove. I think it's called actually. It to take us forever to kill that one side beetle. Okay, we're gonna try and attempt to sneak by these three. I don't think it's gonna be success. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. Ah, uh, Jesus. I'm not sure what we should do. Should we just let's just run? No, we can't even run forward. He will definitely kill us before then. But we're going to try. And just so we can see a little bit more of what this map is. Oh, great. Psionic synergy. Nice. Nice. Telekinetic punch. Why not? <laughs> okay, well, you guys got to see what uh, a little bit of the synergy from the side beetles looks like. Well, let's resume from last saved. Okay, we're going to fall back. Um, can I get out of stealth mode? Thank you. Um, yeah, nothing here. Okay, let's just fall back. I'm wondering 
if maybe we would, would have been better off to take on the side beetle at the top. So I'm going to head up there. Let's reload our gun. Now this other side beetle is right at the uh, right at the entrance, so we're gonna be in pretty much the same position as before. But we'll give it a shot. Yep, yeah, he's right there. Let's get right up close to him. And actually, how much does this take? 10 AP. So we want to leave 10 AP left, and we're going to try and capture this guy. Entangled. Can I just pick him up? Is that a thing? I do have those dog crates, right? Oh no, I, I dropped them off in my room actually. I don't have them on me. Uh. Okay. Um, let's move a little bit closer. And we will end turn. He cannot do anything. Okay, so he's entangled for two more turns. Let's do some damage here. Or we could just try and run past him. There is a fence back here. So instead of attacking him, because I won't be able to kill him. Although I do have another net. I could use this other net. It's on a two turn cooldown. Maybe maybe we should try to attack him and kill him. Let's do that. Alright, so we don't have enough for that. Shoot him with our crossbow. Not enough action points for that either. So what can we do then? Let's just move back this direction. Uh, Keith must be back in there. So let's end turn. Oh no. We moved too far away. Oh Jesus. <laughs> we have two health points left. Okay, so we need to be closer. Uh, no, we're going to use our pistol. 40 damage. Nice. Let's end turn. Great. Okay. Resume last save. Let's try this again. This is the Psy Beetle episode. 36 critical hit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. God damn you, RNG. No critical hits, please. Thank you. Alright, so we'll move close enough that we have... Enough AP left to use our net. Entangled. Alright. Um, actually, no, let's... Ooh. We shouldn't go right up to him. Because he can still bite us then. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Let's back off one. Shoot him. In the face. We will end a turn, because this... I need to memorize these. Uh, so that takes 25, and we have... Can we use this? No, not enough. Okay. Okay, okay. No matter. So you gotta stay at least one tile away. Shoot him again. And yeah, just 18. Okay, and turn. We'll get ready to catch him again. Alright, so use our net. Yeah. Oh god, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to try and catch him. Good. Thank god. And turn. This is the method we should have been using. We need to buy more nets. This is what we've learned. We need to buy more nets. Alright, let's fire another shot here. Oh my god, five... 
Uh, why do you do this to us? In turn, kill him. Why? Why are you doing this? Why is it only five now? He's so low. He's gonna break out next turn. Oh my god. Okay. He's out, but he can't move. I do have one more net, but we should be able to kill him here. Thank you. And we got some remains. Not enough action points, that's fine. Let's exit that mode. Search, we have Psy Beetle Brain. Uh, pick up to study this item, gain one point of experience. Okay, cool. And we have a side bill Carpacci. All right, so using crafting. Let's take, take that, excuse me. Okay. Let's pick up this mine room. Let's save again. Um, we're just gonna save over top of our mushroom cove. That's fine. Continuing to make pro Oh no! Fall back! Run away! Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> he's, he's coming after us. Okay, okay, okay. Not enough action points. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't, please don't be close enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we need to go buy more nets. This is what we need to do. So I'm gonna head back uh, to base and we'll get some more nets and we'll come back and take on that Psy Beetle. Okay, I'm just back uh, talking to Brett here. I thought I'd bring you back because it appears we can sell these mine shrooms that we've picked up uh, for 50 each, so we might as well sell those. So we can get five more throwing nets for these two mine shrooms plus 70 credits. I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm fine with that. Uh, he does have some blueprints here as well for some uh, more armor pieces. This might be worth getting at some point. But for now, I think we'll just focus on the nets. So let's trade for these. Okay. We're gonna actually try and get some more ammunition too because I'm down to my last three rounds for this 44. So let's quickly head back to our quarters because I did drop stuff off there in between episodes. Uh, so private quarters. We will find Keith today. That is the goal. And uh, our health is pretty low. We are going to stop off at Minical. Uh, they will apparently heal us uh, no charge. So um, let's grab from our locker here. So we got hopper traps. I'm not going to bother with those, but I will grab our two dog crates. And okay, that's good there. Let's go head up to well should I did we try and sell these mushrooms to to Brett I remember we tried selling them to someone let's try selling them to Brett again because maybe maybe he will buy them if he's buying the um, the mine shrooms maybe he'll buy these ones as well so a few things to do let's go back to agronomy first we'll see if he'll buy these plain mushrooms and then we'll head up to medical we'll get healed head over to the armory get some more ammo for our hammerer so let's trade and where's our mushrooms no he will not take those okay so good to know uh, it looks like anything that's grayed out uh, they're not interested in Anything that is like color, like full color, they are interested in. So that's good to know. I think these mushrooms are just trash. 
don't think they're worth anything. I don't know if anyone would ever buy them. So let's go down to medical and psionics. Maybe we should get our our, our psi implant too. I mean, what's the harm now? Anything to help us give us uh, an edge. So let's have her uh, take a look, or have him take a look at our injuries. Let him treat our wounds. This will take just a moment. There we go. Good as new. Let's talk to her, uh, to him, sorry. And what will they buy from us? He'll buy the gasoline, really? Okay. It's worth a hundred. That's about it, though. It's gasoline. I don't know. He'll buy those two capsules. And our starter mixture. I'll hold on to that because it is a crafting item. We might be able to use it at some point. Uh, okay, so... Medical, looking for five medical components. I see. So I guess gasoline's a medical component. We must get something if we give him medical components. So with three capsules, would that be count as three items? So I suppose we could give him this, this, and this, and that would be his five components he's looking for. Or is gasoline considered a chemical? It says component. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about the psionic potential again. How do I realize this potential? You must first disable your psionic inhibitor. It's a neural structure in your brain. Continue. These are blah, blah, blah. Yes. Takes a large red pill. Okay, let's take the pill. Let's try this out. So I need to prepare somehow. Uh, no, just go ahead and swallow it. Okay. Is it painful or dangerous? No, not at all. Well, maybe a bit dangerous. It's not painful at all. You might get a bit woozy. That's it. Okay. You force the large pill down. For a while, nothing happens. I don't think it's working. Oh. Are you alright? Can you hear me? <laughs> we pass out. Then we wake up in medical bay. Ah, good, you're awake. How are you feeling? My head hurts. What happened? Disabling the inhibitor it seems to have caused a psionic surge, but you're alright now. While you were out, I took the liberty of performing some DNA tests to determine the actual levels of your sonic potential. And while well, the inherent potential is there, but you'll have to train your mind hard before you can really make use of it. Also, take these. He hands you a pair of syringes filled with blue liquid. These psi boosters will help increase your sonic recovery rate. Basically, they'll allow you uh, to use more psi abilities within a certain period of time than you normally could. They're fairly cheap, work fast, have no major side effects, and are equally useful for beginners and experienced psionics alike. There isn't a reason not to have a couple when you are going out there. Let's try and persuade him to give us more. Uh, what do you mean by only two? Two are quite sufficient to get you started. Uh, I got a lot of dangerous work ahead of me, Doc. I'm considering I've yet to become an experienced psionic. I'd rather not find myself short on boosters when I need them the most. Uh, just use them wisely, and you should be alright. Or you could simply purchase more. They're cheap, but not cheap enough for me to be giving them away just like that. Got it. Uh, something else I want to talk to you about. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, catch you in another time. Okay. So, let's head on down to the armory. We'll get our ammunition. We now have our psionic abilities. Uh, or enabled. I don't know exactly what abilities we have, but we do have that purple bar uh, down below our character's health now. Same as what the Psy Beetle had on them. Right there. So our Psy is at 100. Let's quickly talk to this gentleman. Buy ourselves some more ammunition. interested in buying the casings for the time being I think we'll hold on to those um, we want to purchase though and 44 standard rounds okay let's buy some of these 
So it doesn't look like we can afford very many. Let's just get maybe a dozen. Oh, and move those up. Still don't quite have enough for a dozen. Uh, if we did sell some stuff... Yeah, he's not going to give us much for this anyway. Crossbow parts. We used to create a Zephyr type of crossbow. We already have a Zephyr crossbow, so let's sell this. And get more ammunition. Okay. I'll split that. Let's just go 20. Still too much. It says it's value of 520. And these are worth 84 each. Oh, I see. Uh, let's just get 10 then. Okay, cool. Let's trade for that. So we got some more ammo now. Well, let's go ahead and toss this down here so we can reload. And we'll reload the weapon. Uh, this one. Okay, cool. And I'll just change this to reload individual rounds. Okay, back out to the Mushroom Cove, and let's try and kill this next beetle. So, we are back again. Just getting ready here. We got our nets in our utility slots here. We have our dog crates down here. I think we are ready to head back in. We'll go into stealth mode just, just to try it out. I think he'll still see us. So he was pretty close to the, yep. Alright, so he's going in for his attack. Uh, he only got one attack in though, which is nice. Um, it did take up some of our AP though. So if we move here, we'll still have enough left to throw a net. So let's go there. We shall throw a net. Hopefully entangle it. It is entangled. Um, now we're gonna have to try and get closer. So we'll end turn here. Still attack us. And we died. Of course. All right. Another attempt. All right, so the one attack. How are we gonna do this? He's still gonna be close enough to attack us. We gotta hope that, oh, 38. We gotta hope for like a, an 18, like two 18 damages from him. So I can't get close enough as it stands right now. Um, yeah, I gotta move here. And then use this. Entangled. And then we gotta hope that he doesn't injure us too much. Ah, god damn it. Is this gonna be possible? Is this going to be possible? I don't know. So we're in a bit of a jam here. I suppose I could leave, but then what good will that do? Coming back in. We 
could use this. We could heal ourselves. Get a little bit closer, use our net. Might buy us enough time. Tangled. Get a little bit closer. He'll get his two shots in, and then we'll be able to get up. Clo oh, critical hit. God damn it. I think that's what we have to do, though. Pray for no critical hits. Uh, use our health. Let's get right there. Use our net. Hopefully he entangles him. Okay, and turn. Please, no critical hit. We can deal with that. Alright, so we don't want to be right next to him. We want to be like right here. And is that enough to fire a shot? 32 AP. It's not really. But I think we need to go there. So at least he can't attack us. We can use our crossbow. Oh, nice. Critical hit. Okay. Switch back to that. We will end our turn. We should be cl Oh, no. He can still attack us? Hmm. Frustration. I thought we were close enough that he couldn't get us. Alright, so we'll go here. Use this. Skip turn. Oh yeah, we didn't heal. My bad. So, heal. Move up. Use net. Uh, move up a little further. Hopefully there's no critical. Okay. We'll move right here, I guess. Okay, take our shot. And turn. Hopefully he doesn't attack us. Okay, good. So this is as close as we need to be. Uh, we are unable to use our health, so we really need to kill him. That's all there really is to it. Critical hit. And not enough for this, right? Only have 18 action points. Okay. Alright, he's out. Let's use our net again. Please don't miss. Thank you. Shoot him. And yeah, and turn. Shoot him again. God damn it. Uh, and turn. He'll be out next time. Oh, nice. 49. Hell yeah. Okay, let's save our game, Mushroom Cove. Done. We got this. We'll wait for our health hypo. I wonder if I can use a bandage. So we are quite low here. Although the health hypo would do it for us. I'm going to try to use a bandage, though, because we can use our health hypo in combat. We can't use our bandage in combat. Nope, we can't use that. Okay. We're below 40%. So, let's use that. Heal up. Please don't be any more Psy Beetles. Uh, stealth. Quiet now. Sneaky, sneaky. 
We got another uh, mine shroom over there. Let's read this. This South Gate Station. Uh, that direction, I guess. Okay. Can we open this? That goes out to a new area. Um, there's no way for us to get into that. We do have some barrels to search here, though. Oh, no, we do have a door here. Okay. Oh, we have a crowbar. A melee weapon. We have our first melee weapon. Nice. Nothing there. Let's get our mine shroom. And we got some more barrels down here. I have unlocked an achievement. I'm a shroom head. Hell yeah. Uh, periscope part, an oddity. All right, well. Oh, we leveled up. Hell yeah. Okay, well, you guys are going to have to stick with me a little while here. Because we will be using these points. Before we go inside this door, you know what time it is. It's time to save. We're gonna check this room out. Bum 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 bum! Okay. Hmm. This the episode's kinda long. Um, let's take a look. Let's reload our gun here. Uh, two. Reload. Okay. Let's take a look at our skills. So, I kind of know what I want to do with this. We're going to do our skills, so we're going to end the episode, and we'll pick up in this building in the next, uh, in the next show. So, we want to go lockpicking, right? We want to get we want to get points into lock picking so we can actually open some stuff. Uh, so that one room we needed was 12 out at the other outpost. But I do know we need at least 15 for some other stuff. So we're going to go, uh, well, we're going to go to 17 here, but because of our um, uh, deficiencies, we're down to 15. So we've got 28 left. We want. Let's see, maybe, what else would be very important, guys? What else? Do we want to put some stuff into uh, our Psy abilities yet? We have zero in Persuasion, that's why we're never uh, good at persuading people. We do have a 20% synergy with Mercantile, though. So maybe we should put some into Persuasion. Because we'll get more benefit out of these. So let's put five, let's put six into there. We've got 20 left. Intimidation. 10% uh, um, synergy with Persuasion. Let's put five in here. And then... Electronics... Mechanics, lock picking, or is hacking? So we're at 21 for hacking. I think that's probably okay for right now. We haven't really used any traps. Maybe we should increase some of our defense. Let's bump crossbows up to 30. Or 31. Let's put a couple more into our guns. Let's put a few into our melee since we actually have a melee weapon now. And then let's put a couple into dodge and a couple into evasion. Okay. It's going to be a while before we level up again. Hopefully I haven't annoyed anyone with my selections here. Uh, I'm just going off of what we know right now. We know we need lockpicking, so we got lockpicking. 
of 15. We'll be able to open some things. We've got hacking of 21. That should be enough for us to hack open some low level stuff. We have got uh, some points into our persuasion and intimidation. So hopefully, I, I, it's probably still too low to open up any dialogue options to us. But we're starting along that path. We've got some points into our defense. So hopefully we get a little bit luckier uh, with missed attacks, that kind of thing. Um, when we're defending against uh, Psy Beetles and uh, Rat Hounds, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, we do have a crossbow, we do have a gun, and we do have a melee weapon. So we've thrown some points into there. Let's go over to our feats. We can't choose any feats. Okay. Good enough. Let's accept. What's done is done. We need eight experience to get to the next level. We will explore this building in the next episode. Hopefully we find Keith. Oh my god, there's a side beetle right there. Let me exit the building. <laughs> We're not ready. We're not ready. Okay, but we will be taking this on in the next episode. Either the building or going out this direction. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.